Hi guys, this is Ajaz Kadir. In this tutorial, we will see how to import the CAD assemblies into the Simscape multibody. From SolidWorks uh, and Crew, uh, you can directly import the uh, assembly uh, into the Simscape multibody. But uh, for that, you need to establish a link between your MATLAB and your uh, CAD software. So for, uh, for that, first thing required is the SIM Mechanics link. You can download this uh, SIM Mechanics link from a MATLAB website. Uh, for that, you need to download two files. One is that uh, SIM link uh, file with the SIM link name and version. Uh, and the uh, other one is the install add-on. Uh, the first file is in mechanic the uh, multibody link file name will be, is here like this uh, this is the zip file you, need, you don't need to extract that uh, you need to also download the second file also install add on the next thing is how to install the same mechanic things to go to the in here in current folder open the folder in which you have saved that installation files you can see here I have saved uh, that file in my MATLAB folder in downloads so here in the current folder I have opened that folder now use the command install add-on that, uh, uh, that will install this sims uh, mechanic link Command the uh, syntax uh, syntax is this install add-on and the zip name zip file name you can see here here yeah, I have uh, metal uh, 2050b so I have downloaded that version you have to download the uh, stem link version as per your metal version and then using this sim link uh, add-on command you can uh, install this in mechanically now next thing is uh, you need to activate the add-on for uh, your CAD software first in your MATLAB so here we are going to use the simu uh, SOLIDWORKS so I uh, am activating this SOLIDWORKS add-on so for the So that command is assembly uh, link SW. See mechanical link in SolidWorks. Like this, this is the syntax. Just you need to write this command and press enter. So it will install and uh, activate this uh, add on further. Sim, uh, SOLIDWORKS. If you are using Creo, then you need to activate the add-on for Creo. So now next thing is that you need to go to your uh, CAD software and activate the Simulink uh, add-on there. Sim Mechanics link add-on there. Uh, in SOLIDWORKS, when you are opening this uh, SOLIDWORKS, in this uh, very first opening page you will get this uh, in menu of in menu bar you will get this option in option go to this add-ons and in add-on add-ons other uh, add-ins in add-ins you need to activate the same mechanic link first thing is you need to activate this link once you have activated this link in your SM after creating the assembly you can export your uh, model for uh, sim Sim mechanics or sim multibody, sim multibody. Yeah. So how now? How to export your uh, assembly for sim mechanics or sim uh, from uh, sim scape multibody? The first thing is you create your assembly as per your requirement. Then go to the tools. In menu bar, you go to the tools. In tools, go to the sim mechanic link. Sim mechanic link go to export and export export it to the second generation. So 
but 3D representation we need to export into the second condition. To export it, it will take some time. Now, where you have exported that uh, assembly, here I have given the name assembly one. In same folder, you need to open in current folder. Uh, one thing is done, you have exported your assembly if from your CAD model. Now you need to import it in uh, Simscap multibody. So for importing, you need to open that folder where you have saved your exported model. When you export your uh, assembly, uh, it will create a file, step files, step files and XML file. Uh, for each and every part, there will be a step file and uh, for storing the information related to the joints and connection this xml file will be there so now for importing uh, this model you need to use the command sm import sm import the syntax is like this sm import and in bracket the file name The exact file name what you have exported that you need to write here and then press the enter that will take time and it will create after some time it will create your uh, multi body since the multi body model like this all these transformations uh, joints all are, uh, depend on how you have defined uh, your constraints in your CAD model if you have defined properly, here you will get a proper model. For uh, checking how a model will be look uh, will be looking is looking in 3D, you need to go to this simulation. In simulation, update the diagram. Then you can see the model. Here I have applied the constraint properly, so uh, my model is proper, and I can see it uh, in 3D output. If you, are, if you have not uh, constrained it properly. In that case, you won't get your model proper. In this case, uh, here you can also add the joints. Joints and transformation you can also add here and you can constrain it. You can also constrain your model here. But uh, that is a little complicated. So, better you define your all constraint properly in your SolidWorks model or, or if you are using in Creo, then your Creo assembly that will take uh, that, will, that is easy compared to this. If you are not defined properly there, then you have to define it here and that will take some time. So this is how you can import your uh, CAD assembly into Simscape multibody. First thing is you need to establish a connection between your uh, Simscape and SolidWorks or other CAD model. So for that you need to download and install the Sim Mechanic link. You need to activate the add-on for your CAD model and then you can uh, with sm import command you can uh, import the CAD assembly into Simulink. So if you uh, this so that's it from uh, this current lecture current tutorial if you have any queries please write in comment and for uh, downloading this uh, sim uh, Simulink link uh, the Simulink link is available on this um, MathWorks website. You can download it from MathWorks. Thank you guys for watching this video.